Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to a brand new video. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. With the GTA 5 Online KO Perico Heist map expansion DLC coming up very quickly on us, I want to go over some of the finalized details that you need to know about, including the release timeline for this update inside your time zone, as well as other crucial information about how much money you possibly need inside GTA 5 Online to afford all of the new items inside this update, as well as other details that you should know before this massive DLC drops. So we're going to be going over all of that and a ton more in this video, and we're going to be jumping into that in just a quick minute here. But first off, if you haven't already, be sure to drop a like rating on this video to show your support, as well as subscribe down below for more daily videos just like this. But first off, here is today's shout out of the day, and right off that, we're into the actual video. So today's shout out of the day goes to a really awesome YouTube channel known as Just Me on Piano. As his channel name suggests, Barry does some really awesome covers of popular songs out there all on the piano. He's super energetic in his videos, and I am a big fan of his music style, and most importantly, he is always open to suggestions for future music that he should cover on the piano. I highly recommend you click the first link in the description down below to subscribe to Barry's channel, Just Me on Piano, for some really awesome piano music covers that are uploaded every single day. But with that being said, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this video. So with this DLC, the KO Perco Heist update being the biggest ever DLC update for GTA Online, there is a ton of news to cover and also a lot of fine details that we have yet to find out. Now with the release date being on December 15th, we do have a good bit of time left before this update comes out, but it is still not that much time, so as I did mention in my other videos prior to this, I still do recommend that you start saving money for this DLC because it is going to be the biggest DLC ever, and based on what we have heard so far, there is going to be a ton of new content that you should save up to be able to buy. Now the first thing I want to touch on is the timeline for the release date of this update. Now we do know that Rockstar Games did already confirm that this update is going to be coming out on December 15th, but I also want to clarify the timeline of December 15th when you're able to log on and actually download this update for yourself. Now while times exactly have yet to be confirmed, based on what we have seen previously with recent GTA updates, this update is likely going to come around the following times. 2am Pacific, 5am EST, 11am CEST, and 10am UK time. I will leave a link in the description down below to a time converter, so if you don't fit in any of those time zones, you will be able to take any of those and then match it into yours. If you're wondering about the update size, it is going to be around 4 gigabytes on console based on estimates that we have heard so far, with PC updates being a little bit smaller. And the update itself, as we discussed previously, is going to have two main elements to it. Number one is of course the Keo Perco Island map expansion, and then number two is the brand new Keo Perco heist that is going to launch alongside this update. There's been a lot of debate whether the Keo Perco Island is actually going to be an open world island that you can go to and hang around, and based on all the information we have heard so far from Rockstar, it does seem like this will be an actual map expansion and not just a map for a brand new mission. Now based on what we're expecting, this new map expansion is going to lay the groundwork for future updates to come, because right now, as we know, the current map of GTA 5 has definitely been a little bit overloaded in regards to updates, and the point of this map expansion is to allow for more updates in the future to be bigger and better. Now this update is the first of its kind inside GTA 5 Online, we really have not seen anything quite like this before, however, it is going to be interesting to see how Rockstar actually implements the map expansion, whether it is actually going to be part of the current map, whether it is going to be a separate lobby that you need to load into, or whatever it may be, there is a lot of stuff that has yet to be answered, and as we closer to that December 15th release date, those details are likely going to start coming in slowly but surely. Now besides the map expansion and the new heist mission, there is also a number of extra goodies that Rockstar is going to be adding within this update. First and foremost, probably the coolest one is going to be the brand new underground and underwater submarine HQ, and you're going to be able to buy that submarine, customize it, and possibly even move it and maneuver it underwater to your destination. 
This is likely going to be the most expensive part of this update, and I do expect it to cost at least 3 to 4 million at a minimum. Another extra benefit of this DLC that Rockstar did tell us so far is a number of new radio stations that are going to contain over a hundred new songs total, however we don't know what those radio stations are going to be like and the genre of the music just yet. If I had to guess, one of the radio stations is likely going to be tropical style music to match the DLC theme of the new map expansion, and then finally speaking of the map expansion, the final goodie that Rockstar announced to us so far is a number of special areas inside the new map expansion which are going to act as common areas and social areas where players inside a GTA Online session can meet up and have some fun. This is one of the things that I have been saying for the longest time that GTA 5 Online really doesn't have at the moment, which is a proper selection of different areas where online players can go to hang out, including social spaces and many others. However, it seems like that Rockstar did understand what the players want and what the players need more importantly, and they did say they are including a number of different social areas inside this new KO Perico map expansion for people to go ahead and take advantage of. Now probably the most important piece of information here is Rockstar Games did say that this is not a complete list of everything that is going to be included inside this update. I do expect that because Rockstar Games has been working on this update for nearly a year now, and Rockstar Games as a company does work pretty quickly in regards to their online DLC, so I do expect a number of other goodies and surprises that are going to be released to us and announced to us in the coming weeks, but at the moment, this is the information we have so far from the one Rockstar Newswire post that Rockstar did post a couple of days ago. And then of course, I always recommend staying updated on the Rockstar Games social media, the Rockstar Games Newswire, as well as this YouTube channel for the latest news surrounding this DLC and any updates that we do receive regarding it. And also, let me know in those comments down below if you have any questions regarding this DLC that you are interested in and anything you want me to cover in my next Q&A video. So any and all thoughts you have about this and more and any questions you have, let me know in those comments down below because I really want to hear from you guys. But that is pretty much going to wrap it up for today's video. I hope you did find it helpful and hopefully I was able to clear up some of the misconceptions and also some of the minor details regarding this update that you may have missed so far. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, let me know by dropping a like rating on this video as well as subscribe down below if you haven't already with those bell notifications on so you're always notified whenever I upload a brand new video. Thank you again for tuning in today, I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you tomorrow with another video just like this. But until then, have an awesome day, and I'll be sure to talk to you guys then.